It almost felt like London was calling. My parents, they worked at an art publishing company based in London and went to London and Europe a lot when I was a child. Last year in 2021, I was lucky enough to win London Street Photography Festival. And now in 2022, I had a small business opportunity to go to London for about a week. A lot of people ask me why I use reflections in my photos a lot. The first reason being, well, that's just what big cities offer in modern days. Photography is all about maximizing what the environment provides you, and that's all I'm doing. The second reason is that it gives me a level of control that traditional candid street photography does not provide. A reflection allows me to compose something that's indoors against something that is reflected. The reflected thing is usually a person walking or a street. The thing indoors is usually a stale object or subject. In my images, I also prefer to create a nice flow of subjects. I like to draw similarities between candid photography and abstract paintings. A lot of the time, an abstract painting is about kind of a balance of brutality, force, and smoothness, and composition. And this is all expressed by tools like paint and brushes. In a great abstract painting, there's a wonderful balance of letting control go, but also controlling what you have control of. And that's something I love to implement in my candid street photography. ロンドンは人が本当に生き生きしてて、今の日本とはもう全く違う感覚で写真を撮って、なんか日本だとみんなまだまだマスクをしているし、そのマスクをしていなかったとしても感情が外に出ていないというか、社会的になんかこうはし
Okay, everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you like the photos that I took in London, please go check out my website where I have a print set for early photos I took in London. Thank you again. Please go check my website out and send that around.